Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm gonna to show you how to remove purple fringe, or also known as chromatic aberration from your photo. So that's kind of this, I'm just gonna zoom in here so you can see. It's this purplish fringe that shows up on photos with high contrast areas. So for instance, this is white going to dark green, so this chromatic aberration has shown up on our photo. Same thing over here, we've gone from black to white, this purple fringe shows up sometimes. So to remove that, uh, there's a couple things that I do to do that. The first thing is to duplicate your background layer. You never wanna work off your background. So I'm gonna hit Command J on my keyboard to create a new layer here. And the first step is to go up to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Now I'm gonna leave my radius at 15 and I'm gonna hit OK. If yours isn't at 15, somewhere between 10 and 15 is usually pretty good for this. So I'm gonna hit OK. And now I need to change my blend mode. So I'm gonna come up to my drop down here and I'm gonna select color from my drop down list. And you can see here's before and after. And it's done a pretty good job of removing my chromatic aberration. So once uh, that has been applied, that's what it looks like. However, I don't want it to be applied to the whole image. I just wanna be able to paint off the purple fringe um, wherever I need to in my photo. So I'm gonna add a layer mask. I'm gonna come down here to the little square with the circle in it. And then I'm gonna invert my layer mask. So right now, this whole layer is showing because my layer mask is white. To hide this layer, all I have to do is hit Command-I on my keyboard. And now the layer is hidden, and I can just use a white brush to brush off the purple fringe in the photo. So I'm gonna come over to my brush, make sure my hardness is set to zero, which it is. My opacity right now is set to 83, which is totally fine. And my brush size is actually pretty good for this. You can increase your brush size by hitting the right bracket key on your keyboard, or you can decrease your brush size by hitting the left bracket key on your keyboard. So once you have a brush size that you like, um, all you're gonna do is paint with your white brush the purple fringe off your photo. So as you can see here, it's doing a really good job. It's quite quick. You don't have to be super duper precise. And it still does a fantastic job. Now, one thing it does do though, is it desaturates the color around um, where you've brushed. So for instance, uh, this is really dark green up here, or this is um, true green, and then where I've brushed the chromatic aberration off, it's kind of a desaturated color. So there is one more step to this that I'd like to show you. And to do that, you have to come down to the bottom of your layers panel and just create a new blank layer. So we have this completely blank layer here. We're just gonna change the blend mode of this layer to color. And now using the same brush, we're gonna use our color picker by holding down the Alt or Option key on our keyboard. And that's just gonna select the color picker for us. And we're just gonna select a color that's um, the same as the color that we want to replace this desaturated spot with. So I'm gonna select this green here. And now with my brush, I can just brush some of that green back onto the photo where it is looking a little bit desaturated. So that's looking pretty good. Now if you were to make a mistake, for instance, I'm gonna go down here and paint some green on this white, all you would need to do is select the white um, with your color picker and then just paint the white back on. So it's really easy to do a quick little fix there. So now here is the before with the chromatic aberration and here is the after. You wouldn't even know that it was ever there. So I really hope that helps you and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.